the coalition. Okay, so this is a little bit of what's been going on in the week. They have announced new casting for the uh, Detective Pikachu movie that's coming up. Ken, Wat Ken Watanabe will join Ryan Reynolds in the cast, um, which will be released on May 10th of 2019. Detective Pikachu is an investigator who is good at finding lost things, and that Ken Watanabe's character is going to be created for this, the movie, and his name is going to be Detective Yoshida. There is an Aaron, an Aaron Hernandez movie that is coming up. Um, as you guys already know, he was the football player from which team? The, pa the I want to say Patriots. Yeah, no, no, New England Patriots. New England Patriots, and who, you know, tragically ended up murdering, they found out several people, and that he suffered terribly from CTE. His life is now going to be a movie, and they just announced that the book that James Patterson is supposedly wrote, they said he wrote it, and he's not ghostwritten, but we'll see, um, it's releasing tomorrow. So that should be interesting, and if anyone is interested in that, they have not released any type of casting news or when it's going to be released. It's just that they sold the right, so it's coming up very soon. Also, we have um, 28 Weeks Later director Juan Carlos Fernestalello. I'm pretty sure I butchered that. They are He is in negotiations to direct the live-action Disney movies Sword in the, so in the Stone. And also they have announced that there's going to be the Merlin Saga, which is directed by Ridley Scott. The third Cloverfield movie just released new promos on the 10th anniversary of the original Cloverfield movie. Um, the movie is untitled now. It was originally known as The God Particle, but it will release on April 20th, 2008. And if anyone goes on this weird viral website, we'll have it on the coalition. Um, basically, it explains that it takes place in Tokyo, January 18th, 2018, where there is a company that has developed a new revolutionary technology in new energy. And it's supposed to be a great leap forward to our planet. And this renewable technology will take at least four years to complete along with another six years international regulatory bodies to bring the powerful revolutionary energy source by April 18th, 2028. Whatever that means, I have no idea, but that's the only clues that we're getting from the next Cloverfield movie. Anyone who's interested, Grownish, which is a spinoff of Blackish on NBC, it is being renewed for a second season and it's getting 20 episodes. Also renewed is Marvel Runaways, which, you know, to me, I thought it was horrible, but whatever. Um, Marvel's Cloak and Dagger announced that they will have their premiere on Thursday, June 7th. It's going to be a two hour premiere, and that's going to be on Freeform. For anyone who doesn't know, it's going to tell the story of Tandy Bowen and Tyrone Johnson, two teenagers from very different backgrounds who find themselves burdened and awakened to newly acquired superpowers, which are mysteriously linked to one another. Tandy can emit light daggers and Tyrone has the ability to engulf others in darkness. They quickly learn they are better together than apart, but their feelings for each other make their already complicated world even more challenging. There was also announced that the untitled Men in Black spinoff is getting a new release date. It is going to release this time on May 17th. No, sorry. It was moved originally from May 17th and will now release on June 14th of 2019, which means that it puts it up directly against the new Shaft remake. Also, it opens a week after the Gambit movie. We're also getting a Charlie Angels reboot the sequel to A Secret Life of Pets, and an untitled Fox Marvel film. So that's going to be very interesting with that. Also, This Is Us star Ron Safiris Jones was just cast as the wizard in Shazam. So anyone who wants a good cry, who has seen This Is Us, they can enjoy him in that movie. Uh, also, it's we're getting a 
pilot, so a new TV series for the Bad Boys. It's a Bad Boys spinoff starring Gabrielle Union. Um, NBC has announced that they have ordered the pilot and that they are expecting the show to drop this year. So they, they, they did is they changed the character, Gabrielle Union's character, which is Sid Burnett. She's coming back. She needs something to do after her TV show on BET, Being Mary Jane, was canceled. It says, in the series, Burnett has left the DEA and now has a fresh start on her new job as an LAPD detective. She is partnered with Nancy McKinnon, a working mom who can't help but look at Sid Freedom with some grass is greener envy. These two have totally different styles and approaches, but they both at the top of their fields in this action-packed, character-driven procedural. So it's not going to star Will Smith, obviously. It's not going to have Martin Lawrence, but Gabrielle will get her own buddy cop show. I guess it's going to be kind of similar, it sounds like, to um, the Lethal Weapon TV series, which actually isn't bad. So... That it is makes, everything. Well, I respect that it's a spinoff, but it makes no sense that her brother or Will Smith wouldn't, you know, show up like once in a while. I mean, they're 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 having separate lives. Maybe that he will. I don't know. Maybe he'll just be recast. But many people are angry that she is went from DEA to now LAPD. It's like a big downgrade. People are upset about. Well, you know, they they've got to uh, make sure that the. Um, the effects budget isn't too high so yeah that's the way to keep the budget down i, I well i i think everybody should be mad at michael bay because he is the reason why bad boys three and four are not happening now so yeah they should blame him for everything <laughs> but no uh dana did you have any more uh entertainment news you wanted to share before i uh uh, no, also, it should be noted that with the Men in Black spinoff, which I I don't know what, what number we're up to now, four or five, um, it's not going to feature Will Smith or Tommy, Tommy Lee Jones, but they do plan on expanding the world, and it's going to be a whole separate trilogy. So, And also, they aborted the 21 Jump Street um, crossover with Men in Black. So that's... What? Yeah, they, they aborted it. They... It was too complicated and that they couldn't seem to figure out how to cross over Men in Black and 21 Jump Street, which actually looked really surprising and, and amazing compared to that some. Sounded awesome. Right, but the oh, goal is sucks. creating. Yeah, their goal, they said now, is they're creating their own franchise of Men in Black. So it's going to be like a whole, the whole world of Men in Black, and you'll get to explore different universes. If that makes any sense at all, that is so. cool still, I guess. But I guess, oh, yeah, what a shame! <laughs> it's you know, it sounds to me like they were inspired by what Marvel is doing, what they have their whole Marvel universe and all these different characters and different, uh, and they try to connect the characters. This what it sounds like everybody's trying to do that now. Yeah, um, everyone is inspired by that. But yeah, I think we're gonna get yeah. universe fatigue at some point with all these universes happening i'm already there <laughs> yeah and also the premiere of black lightning was the highest rated show ever and it got it was so popular that the rerun on friday topped the performance of the original air date so way to go black lightning so this means that we're gonna get an arrowverse after all because they denied it but with this success, we're going to get a crossover. So, yeah, I, so that's interesting to hear. And I, I want to take this time to give a shout out to my brother because he says just by watching the commercial of the show, he thought he thought the show was trash, stereotypical. I said, you haven't even watched the show yet. So I'm going to make sure I send him this video later on so uh, I can uh, <laughs> definitely get no, his, his opinion in. Go ahead. It's, it's very yeah no i will admit that at first i was like i didn't know what was going on and it was a little corny because they showed um the reels back in like the very beginning of last year and it looked really corny but it's not at all and i would say that it's like luke cage granted it's like pg it's not an r rating but it's just on the same level it's very good and it tackles a lot of issues and it's very grounded, and it really makes you think. 
Okay, I had to check that out. Yes, so thank you for that news, Dana. 